What's up, YouTube Tech Guy 764 here? Yes, that was a pretty sick intro, right? I know. Um, yeah, so I deleted my other video to put that intro in here. I'm gonna do a new video because I didn't really like that video, so I'm gonna do a new video with the new intro, and yeah, so today we're gonna be um, using the Swap Magic DVD for. Kingdom Hearts. Yes, I, f I accidentally put Kingdom of Hearts. I know. I, I suck at life. I know. I'm sorry. I accidentally put Kingdom of Hearts. It's Kingdom Hearts. I'm sorry. So don't leave a comment that says it's Kingdom Hearts. You know, I know it is. I'm sorry. I put of. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know. So anyways, um, yeah. So as you guys know, I got my Swap Magic DV DVD one right here and CD one right here. So this one's for like um, the SNES station. And uh, the DVD one right here is for like the Kingdom Hearts. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna put a link in the description for the burner to burn DVD ISOs, and I'll put a link in the description um, for uh, the website to get the ISOs, uh, the website to get the program to burn them, the website, oh, well, not the website, but I'll leave two. Um, uh, like things in there that tell you the disc you're gonna need to burn separately for CD and DVD um, and I'll give you the link um, for yeah so I think that's it uh, oh and for the swap magic that's right yeah so um yeah so we're gonna be using the swap magic for Kingdom Hearts okay so let's get right into this alright so I'm just gonna angle my um, camera at the PS2 because I always want you to see how I do this as you can see, I do no hot swap whatsoever. All right. Um, so what you do is you get your P, uh, your uh, disc, your uh, right um, swap magic for the disc you're doing. So DVD, because I'm doing a PS2 game. So you put it in there. All right. And then you um, <coughs> you start it up. All right. And as you can see, I get a different boot up screen because I modded my PS2 to do this. And I got a big huge menu, like you know when you don't have a disc in there, it brings you up to that screen. I got a really big scroller of just a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll probably do another tutorial on how to do that. So anyways, it'll say that Swap Magic 3 and then your disc will stop like that, okay? And then it'll bring up the screen that says Normal, Special, SM Boot, and Cheat Menu, alright? So, um... As you can see, the swap magic did stop. So what you want to do is you want to take it out. You want to put it in whatever case you got. And then you want to get the um, Kingdom Hearts. You want to take it out and put it in the PS2. Because you don't have to do any swapping. Well, this is considered swapping, but you know when the disc is moving. You don't have to do any sort of swapping when the disc is moving for this. So then you want to put your Kingdom Hearts in there, alright? And then once you've done that um go go back to this like well yeah you'll look at go back to the screen and then um you're gonna see all the stuff like i said and then just click on normal and then don't mess around with these okay the i don't even know what these mean um if you know what you're doing you're okay but if you're just starting like first starting to do this and you just want to play your burnt game like really bad then just hit default okay and as you can see it starts spinning okay and what we should get is Kingdom Hearts. So let's wait for it. And it, as you can see, it says published by Square Electronic Arts. And as you can see, the disc is spinning. Disney <coughs> and uh, Squaresoft. Alright, so hold on. And then it just has all this stuff um, to start. As you guys can see, we got Kingdom Hearts. Yes, it worked. And the disc is spinning. I'm not faking this. It's not a printed over um, looking like a burnt disc onto a real PS2 game. It's an actual PS2 game. Uh, well, burnt disc. And you can see new game, load game. As you can see, the sound is not off at all. It's very, 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 very set up right. This game is one of my favorite games on PS2. I really love it. It's just a nice, calm game. It's like really fun. And so we hit load. Well, for me, I hit load. And then as you can see, it brings up this because I've already played this game and I have a load because I like it. I'm a level two because I haven't been playing it very much. So you click on that and it'll start up the game normally. And I'm on the beach right now. I'm just on that beach. So as you can hear, we have the music playing. Yeah. So. 
<laughs> yeah, see, so I got the wooden sword, and I just, I'll just go outside and just show you guys. It's nice, and the graphics are set really nice on this burn game. This is one of probably the best ISOs that people spent time on, because it's really nicely put together. I mean, it's not laggy at all. It's really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm, like, right now I'm collecting the logs for that girl, um, I forget her name. And then here's this guy, um, he says, do you want to do some stuff? I'll hit okay. I'll just, what's it called? I'll just mess around and just, ready or not, okay. So I'll just fight him real quick. Accidentally fell off. Yes, I screwed up. <laughs> Epic fell. All right, you guys. Well, I try to fight him, but he beat me. All right, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, this girl I'm collecting logs for. All right, so I need a cloth and a rope. All right. Well, I'm not gonna really do a lot of gameplay this because this is what makes my movies really long. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. And if you please rate, comment, subscribe, especially considering on my new intro, it just it deserves a uh, subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Tech Guy 764 out.